In Lebanon, there are 1.2 million Syrian refugees. Over half are children. Makeshift homes made out of a bit of timber, tarp or old tyres. Open pits for rubbish and water from a dirty stream. No warmth, no running water, just a place to keep out of the rain. There are over half a million children trying to just be kids and somehow they carry on in the face of all these obstacles. Education is a critical part of UNICEF's response in Lebanon. We must ensure all children get access to school, Lebanese, Syrian and Palestinian alike. These boys learning to read and write in their afternoons will spend the morning picking potatoes in the fields so their family have income to pay rent. I got a chance to spend time with these children and see firsthand what a difference UNICEF's support is making in their lives. What a joy just to see them painting and using their imagination to recover from trauma and hardship. The scale of the problem here is enormous. One in four people in Lebanon is a refugee. Right now we know we are not reaching every child that needs help. And we know the need is going to grow as the conflict in Syria escalates. Everywhere you look in the settlements, there are so many children, and you can't imagine the way that they have to live. But most heartbreaking of all is to see the babies. I went to visit a local health clinic where the Lebanese medical team works round the clock to treat all the people who need medical attention. A wee baby boy named Adam was there for his first checkup. UNICEF funds clinics like this to help more kids stay healthy and thrive, ensure immunisations are delivered and people have nutrition advice and support when they need it. As I held him in my arms, I wondered what his life will be like. Can we provide Adam with the right support to help him thrive? Can we help this one child? I passed him back to his young mum and I wished that little family well, for Adam's sake, and for all the children just like Adam. With no clean water and limited firewood, if breast milk falters, the baby's life is immediately at risk. UNICEF organises gathering spaces for breastfeeding mums, a place to connect with their babies. This service ensures the women are getting the nutrition they need so baby survives and thrives. Life is busy in the settlements for women, between labouring for scarce cash income, looking after children, and the hard chores of getting water and firewood. Most parents don't have time to address the underlying trauma that is written on their children's faces. So many kids are traumatised. You can see their pain. UNICEF supports these children by providing counselling and safe places to play, so critical to normalising life and beginning recovery. I sat down with one of these counsellors and she told me about a girl named Xi'an who was only three years old when her dad was killed in Syria and her mum abandoned her. She was so traumatised that she stopped speaking and only held herself tightly in a rigid little ball. I met Xi'an, and even with all the current adversity, she is healing. There are thousands of children just like her that need help to heal the scars of conflict and trauma. Everyone has scars. Everyone is just getting through the days. And despite the unimaginable challenges, kids are still kids. It's wonderful to see them when they forget their troubles for just a moment and they get a chance to dance and be silly and have fun. There was one young girl in particular that I wanted you to meet, 13-year-old Zinab. UNICEF made a short story about her a couple of years ago and I was really moved by her story. With UNICEF's support, 
She's kept up her education informally until she found a place in a public Lebanese school. She is one of the lucky ones. I went and visited Zenab at her house and met her little sister and her mum. I spoke with Zenab about school and about her dreams for the future. Some girls her age are being married off in the belief this will keep them safe. But not Zenab. She's thriving in school and she has plans to become a doctor. It was so great to meet a girl really blossoming and is looking forward to the future with hope and aspiration. With the right support from UNICEF and donors, Zenab has a chance in life and she's grasped it with both hands. There is much more we can do in Lebanon. Not every kid is getting the same support as Zenab. 1.2 million Lebanese, Syrian and Palestinian children within Lebanon have been directly affected by the Syrian conflict. Every one of these children is the next generation of Lebanon and of Syria. All of us everywhere in the world need them to have hope, to see beyond war and to know how to live peacefully with each other. We need your help to reach every child.